When's the last time you experienced a good failure? Uh, I don't know about you, but I fail often. It, it, from the outside, people think, man, you, you, things seem so good for you. But there's so many times I find myself not able to achieve what it is I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to accomplish. I'll, I'll put my mind to a project or something, and I'll end up doing something that's not exactly like I thought it would be. And uh, I was really uh, blessed. I'll use the word blessed here when I, when I ran across a book by uh, Richard Rohr, who uh, he, he's a great spiritual thinker. And he, he wrote this book called Falling Upward. And I love the idea of falling down and getting back up again, falling down and getting back up again. When I was a little kid, we had this, we had this uh, punching bag that you, it, it was kind of weird. It was this punching bag, it had some weight in the bottom of it, I guess. And you punch this thing and it would fall down on the ground and it would come right back up. You punch it and it would go down and come right back up. And this thing was so resilient and ultimately uh, it, the thing didn't last very long because we got where we were growing up and we could punch pretty hard at one point. But so we broke the bag, but but this crazy kid's toy is a picture of resilience. And I love the idea of when we fall down, we get back up. There's a couple of things that, that Roar says in this book that I thought would help you this week as you're thinking about um, maybe some of your failures. Uh, hopefully you're not pretending that you have it all together. Uh, he, he talks about uh, this idea of um, amnesia and the big picture. This is one of the chapters in here is the title of it. And and basically, he, it, we've got to have this mindset where we we can uh, we can keep getting back up. If you want to use our our punching bag analogy again, you may feel like a punching bag right now. Here's what he says: the pro the protagonist in so many fairy tales are already nobles, royal daughters, and sons of the king, or even the gods. But their identity is hidden from them, and the storyline pivots around this discovery. Some of you are out there right now, and you have greatness in you, but you just haven't discovered it yet. And I want to remind you that that you may feel like you you got a moment of failure going on right now. Something's really hard. A relationship's suffering. Your job's not going the way it should. Maybe a coworker let you down. You got a kid that rebelled. I don't know what's going on, but I want to remind you there's some great stuff in you. And through that that hard, challenging situation right now, you really do have a chance to keep getting up, keep being resilient, keep modeling for the people around you the strength that is in you. Don't, don't lose sight of that. Don't lose heart. Maybe you just haven't discovered it yet. There really is greatness in you. Keep getting up. And then there's one more thing. And this is a little warning for us. I thought this, I, I underlined it. It was a warning for me. He says, people who have never allowed themselves to fall are actually off balance. Uh, now, uh, you may be in that camp where you're going, I, I don't, I don't fail. I don't, I don't let people see me fail. I, I don't, you know, I pretend I have it all together. I mean, I know I don't, but I really pretend I do, and people think I do. And uh, that that may be what you're thinking, what you're what you're what you're feeling uh, as you listen to this. People who have never allowed themselves to fall are actually off balance, while not realizing it at all. That's why they're so hard to live with. He says, "Please think about that for a while." Uh, I love his words. I would I would encourage you to think about that as well. If you're not allowing yourself to fail or or when you fail, if you're in denial, you're really hard to live with. And, and that's not the way you want to be. So I want to encourage you to keep getting up, keep being resilient, keep falling upward. There really is greatness in you. You need to discover it. The people around you need you to, to discover it. And when you do and you unleash that, you're going to really be a blessing to the people around you. This book's really helped me. I hope you'll get a copy and uh, work on your heart.